It's not known how many children have been abused, how many children remain at risk. Now six weeks on from a damning report about child sexual exploitation in Bradford, there are more calls for a wider investigation. What us victims need is a full inquiry. If Rotherham had one, then why are they denying the thousands of children here in Bradford? The words of a girl known as Anna, sexually abused by gangs of men whilst in care. The review said that when she was 15, she had an Islamic marriage to an abuser and her social worker allegedly attended the ceremony. I won't accept a generic apology. It's not only myself who had life-changing events, so have thousands of victims. The Independent Review in Bradford looked at the cases of five victims. It found that some children remain unprotected, while some perpetrators remain unknown and unchallenged. Now it's not only the survivors calling for a public inquiry. We absolutely need to understand the scale of these horrific events, child sexual exploitation that has gone on over this period. And we can only, in my mind, do that by having a full Rotherham-style review, which clearly looks at all agencies that have been involved, calls out for victims to come forward. Anyone who is privileged enough to be in a position of influence, like I am as a Member of Parliament for Keighley, should be calling for this. Over the summer, more than 60 arrests have been made by police investigating sexual abuse against young girls across West Yorkshire, dating back more than 30 years. Bradford Council has apologised to victims but said it's not for the local authority to call for a public inquiry. For now, there is still much work to be done here to keep children safe from abuse.